Ah, uh, it looks like all our problems are solved. Welcome to the Jade Chamber. Oh, great. <laughs> I have no idea what we would have done otherwise. I didn't think we'd really manage to get you here. This was a last-minute situation, and you're the one we trust the most. To put it simply, we are just looking for the right person to help. We had a very long discussion about it, but to no avail. I have tasked my three most trusted secretaries with overseeing an important auction tomorrow. This, however, leaves their regular duties unattended to, and the work cannot afford to go undone. The nature of their day-to-day -day work is highly sensitive and confidential, so whomever I ask to fill in needs to be someone I can trust, and who doesn't have a conflict of interest. Yes, you were the person who came to mind. We may not have spent a great deal of time together, but I do place a great deal of trust in you. To me, this work is highly sensitive and of utmost importance, though I'm sure you'll find it to be mundane at best. It would not surprise me if you can't bear the tedium or can't make the time. And yet, despite this, I thought it could do no harm to ask the question, on the off chance that you are interested. As it happens, I was just having a discussion on backup plans with my secretaries before you arrived. But the outcome of that discussion was that we couldn't think of a suitable alternative. This is a good reminder that we should always have a contingency plan for everything. Anyway, this may add to the debt of gratitude I owe you. But the fact is, your arrival here has rescued what was fast becoming a rather dire situation indeed. I wouldn't worry. It's all work you'll be quite familiar with. Planning trips, gathering pertinent information, that sort of thing. All basic skills required by competent adventurers, if I'm not mistaken. If you have any questions about your work, I will answer them shortly. The administrative work Lady Mingguang touched upon just now is only one aspect. You'll also be required to cater for Lady Mingguang's basic daily needs, such as clothing and meals, and be on call for any other requests she may have. Don't be mistaken. I won't put you in a difficult position, and I will fully respect your judgment. All right. Please proceed to the office. Bai Shu will go over the work with you in more detail. Yes, Lady Ningguang. Okay, let's go. Before I get into specifics, I want to start by giving you the big picture. As a member of the Liyue Qixing, Lady Ningguang's every move is in the spotlight. Maintaining her perfect image at all times is absolutely essential. My usual job is to be her right hand, to maintain her image, and take care of all her worries. For example, arranging her daily schedule, picking out clothes for her, dressing her, applying her perfume... Uh, <clears throat> You misunderstand me. I am simply trying to impress upon you the sheer importance of the work you will be undertaking. Baisha has always been very passionate about her work. I can leave any task in her capable hands and rest assured that her performance will be nothing short of exemplary. I'm sure she was simply trying to share some of her enthusiasm, in the hopes that you may find it infectious. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Back to the topic at hand. Let's get into the details. Bai Xiao and Bai Wen handle tasks that require enormous experience, while I'm mainly responsible for organizing her daily schedule and making sure she is well fed, dressed for any occasion, and that all her needs are met. I can go through the methods I use and give you some pointers based on my experience to ensure that you are fully equipped to perform your duties. All in a day's work for the traveler, hmm? Great, then I'll skip that and just get to the handover of duties. Currently, there are 133 items that have yet to be scheduled, 17 of which are high importance, and... Yes, I did try to make a start in advance, but only got as far as roughly prioritizing the tasks before I ran out of time. I'll go through the most important items with you in more detail. 
If there's anything you don't understand, feel free to stop me with questions at any point. First is the periodic meeting with the representatives of the eight trades. After that, fielding opinions on revisions to the current tax legislation. Then a discussion with Lady Kutching on issues relating to time restrictions on land conveyance deals. Following that, there's a Q&A session with all the major commerce guilds. Right after that, there's... Yes, you do. To the uninitiated, scheduling may sound like a simple process of matching tasks to time slots, but there is actually far more to it than that. You need to take travel time into account, along with a whole spectrum of potential issues that can arise. Ample knowledge of all outside factors that may weigh upon your plan A is essential to devise a workable contingency plan. I assume this is all making sense. Unless you had any other questions at this point? Good. Then let's press on. We're tight on time here, and there's a lot to get through. And we still need to leave enough time for you to prepare Lady Ningguang's schedule. Already? Wow. You're a fast learner. Very good. This will be much more efficient. Wonderful. Then I'll be counting on you to provide my schedule for tomorrow. I'm grateful for your assistance. Now, I will leave you here in peace to proceed with your work. I still have a few items from today's schedules that need addressing. If anything else is unclear, you can ask by sure. Take care, Lady Ningguang. Don't you think that this schedule is a bit of a light load? Yeah, that's true. Lady Ningguang has a lot of work to attend to, and frankly, she doesn't have many opportunities to rest. We do sometimes worry about her health, but her attitude is very Mora-driven. If by taking a break there's a chance she'll lose Mora, she'll never agree to it. Huh. I see where you're coming from. Yes, you have a point. All right, then. Let's go with your plan. I'm sure Lady Ningguang has plenty she wants to talk about with you. There's a lot of things that need doing over at the auction venue, so I will be leaving you now. I hope so, too. You must be exhausted. Make sure you get an early night tonight. Yes, I'm already awake. I'll be out in a moment. I'm just changing. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Oh, how strange. Me too. I'm joking, of course. I slept like a baby. Sorry to disappoint you. So... What's item one on today's schedule? Hmm. I imagine this must have taken Baishir completely by surprise. Sure. There's no harm in changing my schedule around once in a while. My schedule is usually very tightly packed, and any extra time I can squeeze out is spent on preparing for the future. So, it'll be quite nice to take a break. I don't often feel tired. Seeing the Mora come in has a way of making me feel... 
quite invigorated. Still, your idea is very sensible. Mora can only lift a weary spirit. It cannot alleviate physical fatigue. So then, the days ahead of us. Any ideas on how to spend it? Hmm, something I never have the opportunity to do. Hmm, interesting. Before I decide, I'd like to know, what gave you this idea? Because, as far as most people are concerned, Mora is the key to any and all opportunities. Yes, you're absolutely right. This is what I appreciate about you. You see things the way they are, rather than how they appear. I want to do something a little self-indulgent. Is that okay by you? Thank you. All right, here it is. I've always thought it would be fun to recapture what life was like before I joined the Leo Sing. I was born into a humble family, and all the wealth you see now began with a single haul of fish. <laughs> I had to. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Fishing isn't the half of it. You'd be amazed at some of the odd jobs I've worked in my time. A lot of the old folks like to brag about how I used to be their errand runner back in the day. <laughs> they were tough times, but I had a clear goal and plenty of motivation. If I didn't make any money in the morning, I'd have no food for lunch. I guess that's why I came to be so obsessed with Mora. I want to relive that time for my life. Feel some of that drive again. Take a trip down memory lane. So how about it? Will you join me? Great. Then let me lay down the ground rules. We're not to use our status or reputation in Liyua Harbor to our advantage, and we have no starting capital. The goal is to see how much more we can make under these conditions. Okay, but working as a day laborer could be quite dull. Why don't we go down to the docks? They periodically throw out a lot of unclaimed or abandoned goods. We might find something that we can exchange for Mora. What does it matter? Don't worry about it. It's all part of the fun. Come on, let's go down to the docks. Lady Ningguang, to what do I owe the honor? Are you here to inspect the goods in the warehouse? You may have to wait a moment. I, uh, I must have not gotten the message. Sorry, I won't be long. I'll grab all the paperwork right away. Calm down. No need to panic. That's not why we're here. Uh, oh, you're just looking for... for me? I haven't done anything. H have I? I mean, I don't think so. Uh... All oh, right, the periodic clearances. Yeah, I've been handling those strictly per the protocol. I make sure I post all the necessary notices and notify every individual that I'm required to. It used to be a huge problem, but with a bit of hard work, I've managed to reduce the amount of goods we need to clear out by at least half. 
It's hard to say. It really depends. Everyone has their own reasons. But as far as the warehouse is concerned, they all fall into these categories. Unclaimed goods, damaged goods, or unpaid storage fees. As for the damaged ones, I guarantee you it's nothing to do with how they're stored. It's because some things go bad more easily than others. If it sits there in the warehouse for too long, it goes without saying that it could start to affect the other goods. But that aside, even the smell is just unbearable. So, have you cleared out any of these goods recently? Um, I'm afraid we just finished clearing out all the big ones. But don't worry, Lady Ningguang. If you're here for an inspection, then I'm here to make it happen. Hang tight. I'll grab some of the smaller items for you right away. Hold on. Oh. I don't think he has quite grasped the nature of this situation. Lady Ningguang, I, I had a quick run through the list and cleared out some more items. Please, inspect them at your leisure. Let me see here. Soggy food. An odd shoe. A broken... It's a shame we missed the last clearance. We're down to the slim pickings now. Hmm. Some of these are true junk. But there are a few items of value here. Take this wooden toy, for example. The wood is good quality. If you took it apart, there's quite a number of useful everyday objects that you could turn it into. With a little work. Huh? You want it? Well, sure. Take whatever you want. It's all getting thrown away anyway. Great. This is going well. Yes. And once we're done, we will find a merchant to give us an appraisal of their value. I have no idea what's going on here, and I'm not about to ask either. Lady Ningguang, welcome to my- Actually, today is a little different. I'm not here to buy anything. I wanted to ask if you could take a look at some goods for me. Just take a look? What for? Oh, I see. Let me take a look then. Hmm. Uh. I mean, I can take them. I have a few regular customers I can talk to. They should be able to salvage the raw materials. It shouldn't take long at all. But, uh... What's wrong? If it's too much trouble, please. There's no need to force it. No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, let's talk prices. Uh, so all of these together... Uh, huh. Hmm, I'll give you 150,000 mora. How does that sound? Oh, well... Uh, no worries, no worries. Uh, the price is negotiable, of course, so we can discuss it further. If that figure's not what you had in mind, I can, uh, bump it up a little. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm sure we can reach an agreement here. What are your thoughts? Yes. At most, these items are only worth a couple of thousand mora. Uh, huh? Wait, 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 wait a minute. So you're really here just to sell a few things? And uh, specifically, these things? 
I thought that was all code for some kind of inspection or something. It appears so. We can't go on like this. Let's try something else. As long as we're in Liyue Harbor, this kind of misunderstanding is inevitable. If I wasn't Ningguang, Go Sanar probably wouldn't have handed all of these over to us. And you likely wouldn't be willing to buy them either. Uh, to be completely honest, uh, you're not wrong. This goes against the rules we set for ourselves at the start. Are there any other ways for adventurers to make Mora besides their remuneration from the guild? Great. I don't mind. Let's give it a try. Lead the way. You two have a good one. This must be the place. Let's do this. Feels like it's been a long time since I've gotten so physical. The feeling of creating your wealth with your own two hands is just as exhilarating as ever. Yes, I'd say so. Everything starts out small. You focus on quantity at the outset and gradually shift to focusing on quality as your wealth builds. And let's not forget, we started with no initial capital. It's reasonable to expect building something from nothing to be highly demanding. In any case, the sight of Mora has always had a way of improving my mood, no matter what the sum is. I intend to. I'm not ready to stop yet. This time, let's try something a little more challenging. Another satisfying haul. Ah, uh, what a... That's very kind of you. But I know I'm no match for a professional adventurer like yourself. For me, a battle is just a form of exercise. A way to keep fit and use up any surplus energy. Oh no, not yet. There's more Mora to be made. Hey, look! 
What's that hole in the ground? Oh, I see. So if we catch it, there's more for the taking? Oh, how quaint. That was your Beto impression, was it? <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'm having far too much fun to stop what I'm doing and start bickering with you, Captain. Come on, let's go get this weasel thief. Goodness, this reminds me of fishing. Not an easy catch. But we didn't let it slip away, and the haul is now ours. That's what counts. Let's see. <laughs> a little over a thousand mora. We can't do any serious business with this amount of starting capital. We need to keep working hard. Actually, now that you mention it, I'm suddenly a little hungry. Huh. Amidst the thrill of the chase, I didn't even notice. Wang Shuin is right there, but... Same thoughts here. After how hard we worked to get our hands on this Mora, it would be a shame to eat it all in a single sitting. In which case, I think I'll take this opportunity to show you a skill that I used to be rather proud of. Yes, but the rule of the game is no fishing rods allowed. We're going fishing by hand. Come on, let's go down to the river. <sighs> this should be enough. Let's head back to land and grill them. Here, have a taste of my cooking. A fresh catch can go straight on the grill with minimal preparation and it tastes delicious, even with no seasoning. It's a little charred, that's on purpose. I just like how it tastes. Normally, I have to make a special request to the chef if I want it to taste like this. I'm okay, it was nothing. Back in the day, I had to hurry home after work to do my household chores. Then, in the evening, it was out to the night market with the family to support our stall. I was always meticulous with the most menial of tasks. My mother always loved that about me. But, by the same token, she didn't love the idea of me leaving home and starting my own business. She thought it was just an unnecessary risk when I could just carry on helping out at home instead. You'd be more likely to see me pulling up outside Wanmin restaurant and selling grilled tigerfish from a food cart. My childhood memories run deep. I'll always have a special affection for fish. They are confined to the water, and yet they live free swimming around wherever the mood takes them. It is. I have greatly enjoyed experiencing the adventure lifestyle with you. When I think back on all my hard work in the past, it motivates me to face the challenges that lie ahead in the future. <laughs> that sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. But, a word of warning, I am very picky about my grilled fish. I can be a tough lady to impress. <laughs> <laughs> 